Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a Shop My Stash and Reddit Picks some of my makeup style video. I have been shopping my stash via random number generator. I currently use an Excel spreadsheet and let that do the random, like the randomizing for me because that's the tool that I knew. Uh, and going in the future, I might be doing something more like using the Pretty Random app or something that I've seen other people use. But for the time being, this is how I did it. And I'll explain that just a little bit later. I have seen some other folks use this style in order to shop their stash. Uh, notable channels that come to mind are Shanrell's stash as, and Rebecca Morgan, and I'll link them down below because I love to give credit where credit's due, and they didn't, they didn't inspire me to do So with that, I wanted to then show you how I shop my stash. So let's get on into it. Here I have my inventory spreadsheet, and you can see that I've got kind of a formula in all these that helps me choose all my random items. There we go, there's my random, uh, my random number for my shadows, for my blushes, um, every two weeks I like to pull a couple palettes, five lipsticks, and then every week I pull two blushes and, and a, a bronzer and a highlighter because I like to kind of change those things up a little bit more. All right, so you can see that I've got all of those different uh, formulas in there. So if I make any change to the spreadsheet at this point, it will go ahead and change all of the values in there. It'll, it'll kind of recalculate. And you can see I've got that, that ColourPop It's a Princess Thing palette showing up there twice. I'll go ahead and replace that. My lip products, I did let Reddit choose for me instead, so I'm not going to use those. But here are the other items that I'm going to be pulling out of my stash for you this week. I've now copied and pasted those there. I want to replace one of those into Princess Thing palettes. I'm going to go back to my Shop My Stash randomizer and pull... Oh, sure. That It's a Princess Thing keeps showing up. Isn't that funny? That's my secret Harry Potter. You can't look at that. So I'm going to put that in there. And that's what we're going to go with. All right, I'm sure that was riveting. Um, additionally, uh, I participate every single week in a, not every single week, most weeks, in a Reddit thread for Makeup Bingo on the Makeup Rehab subreddit. Um, I love that. That's a, a thread, that's a subreddit that is focused on using the makeup that you have, not, <laughs> not falling victim to the crazy consumerism that we have in this country, and really just um, enjoying all the beautiful things that you already own before you continue to just buy and buy and buy and buy. So that's what I like to do. Um, typically, I just let them do an eyeshadow bingo kind of idea, but um, I let her also pick my lipsticks for the week. So let me get them and I'll show you what she picked for me. So as you saw on that spreadsheet, I have all of my different items laid out in my inventory and I had them numbered. So I had her pick five numbers between one and 92, I think it was, because I have far too many lip products. Um, and here are the ones that she came out with. The first one is this uh, hashtag INM frozen lipstick. The bullet is gold, but it is a beautiful, like fiery red. Maybe it's even a little bit orangey now that I'm looking at that swatch. This is the ColourPop Velvet Blurred uh, Lipstick in 21 Questions. This is kind of a terracotta matte type situation there. Pretty easy to use. All right. Here's how I get into some fun. We've got um, a NYX, a NYX matte lip cream in the shade Lima. I picked up a lip vault of minis from NYX, uh, not this past Christmas, the Christmas before. And now I know why they do those things. It's because they're trying to get rid of colors that nobody wants. Because this brown, oh, first of all, it swatches horribly too. So that's what that first swatch looks like. So I, I've been using this Shop My Stash type of situation to figure out what I do and don't like that I currently have in my collection because um, especially when I bought something like that lip vault, I got a lot of stuff all at once that I didn't try. Um, but I don't know. This is not my shade. I can't imagine. It's very 90s. Um, it's even more brown than, than I remember the 90s being. So I have it. It's been pulled. I will use it at least one time this week. And then I foresee this one going in the trash because I just don't think I like it that much. And I, I don't even want to use it. <laughs> Like, this looks like this should be an eyeshadow palette, but this is my lipstick so far. That's fun. Um, something that I'm really excited to use, is, it's also another funky color, is this, it's a little bit more violet than it looks. It looks a little blue in the, in the viewfinder here, but this is called Spoonful of Sweet. And holy cow, boy, is that fun. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. Um, I might throw it on my face right now. We'll see. Um, 
but God, I think that's just such a fun color. I, again, I don't have a lot of places that I would wear something like that, but I'm not going a lot of places, so I can wear it around my house anytime I want. Um, and it's just, like, I, I, again, I don't have any, I don't know. I, I just love it. I'm really excited about it. I'm a little tickled. Um, and my last item here for the lips is the Tardis Lip Paint uh, in Gold Rush. This is a really pretty, like, gold shimmery gloss. Very, very sheer. Like, the base of it is, is very sheer. So just, I typically put this over top of, like, a lip liner of some sort and just let it have that little gold gloss. That is the Reddit portion of my Shop My Stash. So let's get into the rest so we can take a look. All right, so now that I've got my list in front of me, I, I have already pulled all the items. I actually couldn't wait to pull them in. But yeah, I pulled, I did this on Monday. I'm filming this on Friday. So it's been like a solid week almost of me not being able to use all the things that I pulled in my shop, my stash, because I decided I wanted to film it, but whatever. So getting into the meat, we've got the ColourPop Dream Street palette. This is the Kathleen Lights collaboration. I, oh, I love the, the look of this. Um, very, very exciting for me. Um, it's got some some neutrals, some neutral, uh, some cool tone neutrals. It's got some warm tone neutrals. Um, this beautiful pop of coral that I'm really afraid of and hardly ever use, but really need to. And then the thing that draws me to this is is the teals. Um, I'm a sucker for pops of blue in palettes, so that's what got me with this one. The color pop. It's a princess thing palette. Oh my god, I love Disney. Um, I'm a. I, I I present as a pretty tough, like like buff chick like I like to lift weights and I played softball and all that stuff but I am such a Disney fan um I'm more of a villain fan than I am of the princesses but that's okay um this palette's pretty loved as you can see so uh again it's a fairly neutral palette it's got that pop of purple in there um these shimmers though these metallics are absolutely stunning on the eyes and I can't wait to use them again so <sighs> like that look at the, the, the hair just we'll just I think that felt sticky, so I think I just swatched on top of something that was there that I forgot was there. But just look at the, like, that's beautiful. Wet n' Wild VI Purple. Let's kind of go ahead and pull that out. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette, which I am not super familiar with. Um, but, I but I did go ahead and try to put what I thought might be, like, the shade dupes. I'm a pretty big blue and purple fan, so I'm excited to have this. And I love how cool toned and different this transition color is. Um, I'm so used to seeing so many like warm tone neutrals, warm tone browns, warm tone, warm tone. And then this has got that whole cool tone uh, color story to it that I think is really fun and interesting and different. So I'll be excited to use that. So those are my palettes. I also have the shop, uh, the, the rotate those eyeshadows. We have the Meech and Mia in copper. This to me looks brown. This does not look copper to me, but that's okay. So let's give that a swatch and see what that looks like. I stand corrected. That looks like copper. From my Carradine Nudes and Roots palette, this is a mess because I use this one a lot too. Um, I am using Bobby Pin. Um, I'm using this shade Banshee. A little bit of a, a cool tone, taupey type shimmer from my Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. So I bought this when I was very, when in the very beginning of me starting to watch makeup YouTube. I didn't watch Jaclyn Hill. I didn't really know anything about her. I didn't know the controversy that kind of goes along with her. All I knew is that I saw a bunch of really pretty eyeshadows and I wanted them. So I bought them. I still have my entire vault collection, but this is the one that got pulled this week. And um, the shade Lolly is the shade that got selected. So. This is such an interesting kind of shade. It's a little bit gold. It's a little bit pink. I find it to be, I think it's kind of duo chromey. It's really, really pretty metallic. Um, so I like to use that shade quite a lot. So that'll be nice. Um, this is shaping up to be a pretty easy color story to put together in one palette, like in one look. So I might do that. Maybe I'll do a whole shop my stash face and we'll just use all the things that I've pulled. The next item is from my C Color Cosmetics Feverish palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I wanted a little bit of a cool tone kick and picked this up and I'm um, seeing how interestingly all those shades go. Um, and I got shade seven. This is the one warm shade in the entire palette. We have the shade seven here. 
it's the more the warmest shade in in the palette i guess apart from like the the coral color here um i have a pretty nice look going on here so i think that the next time you see me i'll maybe i'll do a a get ready with me using the shop stash and i'll be able to use all those shades together it's pretty exciting so for blushes i have the basic beauty it's october 3rd blush this is um almost like a nude like it's a little bit of color to it but it's almost like a nude blush uh about here there we go blends out really nicely if you can see it if i can figure out how to hold my wrist but yeah so that's that blush there um tony always wonders my, tony's my husband whenever i go to ulta and i come back and i'm covered like this he's like what is happening here to you and i'm like eh, i don't know my last blush is going to be um for my elf blush palette it is shade number two uh these are not named but i just go one two three four so it is this shade and since we're doing blushes kind of down here mm, this is one that makes gina nervous um i'm glad i'm glad i'll get some use out of that because i i probably shy away from that because i'm a little scared all right we're almost we're down to the end so the next item we have is my elf bronzer palette Again, these are not labeled, but I have gone ahead and labeled them. One, two, three, and four, and I got number four. This has a little tiny bit of shimmer in there, it looks like. I don't really buy it. Yeah, we'll try it here. It's not even worth swatching. There we go. Now I look like I'm bruised. That's cool. Um, it is fairly warm, I wonder. I haven't done this with anything else, but I just don't remember. I'm not at my tannest at the moment, so there's a lot of these shades that once I get a little bit tanner, they don't really do much for me. For the time being, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, so I'll continue to use that. All right, so the last item is my highlighter for this week. It's impossible to film. Oh my God, that's the worst. Um, for my Tarte Blush and Glow, the blush is nearly useless on me. It's so fair. And I, again, I don't have much of a tan, but like that doesn't show up on me at all. But the highlighter is a really nice, subtle highlight. So is there any place left? Maybe I'll just throw it on my face. So it's nice. It's subtle. It's kind of like an ambient kind of idea. So that is it. All right. So that's it for my shop, my stash this week. Uh, in two weeks, I'll come back. I'll let you know how I liked the items that I used, what I'm getting rid of, what I'm keeping, and also we'll pick out my next set of items. I'm excited that I got the idea to do a full face of my shop, my stash. So I'll film that at some point this week and I'll try to get that posted for you. Um, so I can give you a little bit of an idea as to what I like to do with that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know how much I know how to talk and do makeup at the same time, but at least I can talk you through the products that I'm using and we can speed through when I don't know what else to say. Why am I still talking about this? With that, if you had a good time, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you like this kind of content, please do give this video a thumbs up. It's really helpful to me. Uh, or you can also subscribe to hang out with me again. And if you don't do either of those things, that's totally fine. I'm just so glad that you spent the time to hang out with me today. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Today I have for you a... Uh, the Ipsy unboxing and try on that I'll link over here. Yeah. So I'll film that at some point this week and I'll try to get it up for you. That sounds bad. We're not going to say that. With that, if you had a good time, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. I'm the worst YouTuber ever. Here we go. Uh, I wish I hadn't done it on that finger because that isn't going to look good on the back of my hand. So <laughs> we have to. And the last item, I've already forgotten. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to, I, I, I got, I'm excited that I got the idea to do. <laughs> As you saw, 